Good morning, GMS. I'm Brooke Hunter. And I'm Isaac Bemis. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of November 2nd. The 2020-2021 GMS yearbooks are now on sale. Go to www.yearbookforever.com to order yours today. Mr. Dean wouldn't have this sixth grade picture if he didn't buy his yearbook. Please remember to charge your computer every day once you get home and make sure you put it in your backpack every morning. You need your computer for school. Any boys or girls interested in joining the GMS wrestling team, there will be a call-out meeting on Wednesday, November 4th during Pride. Make sure you have your physical on file and all paperwork signed in the athletic office. Good luck to the wrestling team this year. A quick reminder about the dress code. Reminder. All pants must be standard length garments, therefore shirts, shorts, skirts, dresses, and more must be fingertip length or longer, with or without garments underneath. Jeans must not be any kinds of rips, holes, or tears above the fingertips. Thank you for understanding. Remember, if you are out of school for an extended amount of time, you will still find all of your assignments on Canvas. You can also email your teacher with specific questions. If your family is in need of Thanksgiving or Christmas assistance, email or call your student advisor, Ms. McGuire. Finally, make sure your face mask is over your mouth and nose. This includes in the hallways, in the classroom, even in the bathroom. Also, make sure to socially distance and wear a face mask when you go to any sporting events. Now let's go to the interview of the week, top trending, and the GMS sports update. Have a great week, everybody, and remember to stay safe. Welcome to GMS News Show Interview of the Week. I'm Chloe here with the eighth grade with the eighth grade math, math teacher, Miss Irons. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. Um, what would you like to start? Would you like to start telling us a little about yourself? Well, sure. Um, let's see. I grew up in Iowa, um, and I moved here well a long time ago now when I met my husband. And we have three boys um, who are all pretty much grown up now. My youngest um, son is uh, at Purdue and my other two sons are graduated and often working in the world. So um, that's a little bit about me. Uh, what do you like to do on your free time? Well, to be honest, when school's in session, I don't have a lot of free time. Um, but when I do, uh, I will, sometimes if I'm really tired, I'll just watch TV. Um, but if I have energy, I like to go for a bike ride. Um, I like to walk my dog. We walk a lot when the weather's nice. Um, I love to be out working in my garden. So really, I just like to be outside. Oh, I love to bake too. So I like to bake cookies and cheesecake and well, desserts mostly. But uh, when I have time to do that, I will do that. Um, where is your favorite place to visit and why? Oh, that one's easy. Uh, my favorite place to visit is Dubuque, Iowa, because that's where I grew up. That's where my mom lives. Um, and I don't get to go back there very often, just maybe a few times a year when things are normal and we're not in the COVID situation. Um, but I always, I always love to go back home to Iowa. Yeah, I'm actually from Iowa. I just moved here. Oh, yay. Yeah. Where are you from in Iowa? Uh, Cedar Rapids. Oh, Cedar Rapids. I know Cedar Rapids well. My brother lives there. That's very cool. Well, we agree that Iowa is an awesome place, right? Mm -hmm. But we're glad to have you here in Indiana, too. Uh, thanks for coming on our show today, Miss Irons. Have a great week. Oh, you are very welcome. You have a great week, too. Bye. Bye. Hello, welcome to Top Trending. I'm Lizzie Metzger and let's get started with number three. Oregon firefighters begin to battle fires with the help of a new friend, a Baby Yoda doll. This creature made its first debut on Disney Plus series, The Mandalorian. It all began when five-year-old Craver Tinning and his grandmother, Sasha Tinning from Scapoose, Oregon, stumbled upon the plush while searching for items to donate to Oregon firefighters. They found the doll and thought it would be a nice touch for their donation. Craver Tinning included a note that read, Here's a friend for, in, for you in case you get lonely. How would you like it if a Disney character could help you with your homework? Which one would you choose? Number two. There has been a new reef discovered that is about the height of a skyscraper. The new, new coral reef, like an underwater mountain, in tall, 
taller than any building in Australia, has been discovered in remote waters off Cape, Cape Cork, Queensland. The new reef is, is a blade-like, with an almost one mile wide, ba wide base that sits about 130 feet below the ocean's surface. It is approximately 1,640 feet tall and taller than the Empire State Building and Eiffel Tower. Scientists are excited about the marine life near the reef. Number one, the mystery of the mummified Twinkie. A box of Twinkies was left alone for eight years and finally opened in 2020 after bought in 2012. Of, of, although the official shelf life is 45 days, he opened the box, unwrapped the Twinkie, saw it looked fine, and ate it. It tasted like an old sock, Purrington said. One of the Twinkies in the box had a brown moldy spot on it and, and some were completely fine. But there was one odd Twinkie that was all shriveled up in his package that resembled an old mummy. Some scientists noticed that the package of the mummified Twinkie was sucked in and had fungus on it because fungus was in the package before it was sealed. Twinkies are always good to eat, but now you know not to keep Twinkies for eight years. Hello everyone, this is Alex Connor with GMS Sports This Week. Starting on Thursday, November 5th, 2020, 6th grade girls basketball versus Indian Creek Middle School starting at 530. Have a great week everyone.